Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys some more NHL 20 Be a pro with our goalie dorsal Finn taking on the Rangers this episode Hopefully we will have ourselves a good game last game was was pretty good But we did lose two to one, but we had a good performance. I think I, I'm definitely not too upset with how we played I don't think we had a 90 save percentage, but I think we were very close to it but, um, but yes, unfortunately, we did not have one. But hopefully, we will this episode. So, let's go for 300 likes this episode. I knew we can do it, so go ahead, smash that like button, share that love and support, and subscribe. Join the Dorsal family and help us get closer to... Damn it, I'm not going to get out of the habit of saying that. But help us get closer to a million subs. Why not? But, so, I have um, a very special kind of surprise for you guys. I got this right here, a nice swag order from a uh, a very popular uh, brand or company, I should say. Um, so this is actually this was actually shipped to me from Manscaped, uh, which I'm very excited uh, to unbox. So I figured since you know this is quite the uh, the video t that we have some breaks and not the most action, you know what I mean. I mean, we're going to be going a little back and forth here. This could be bad. Okay, we're fine. Uh, so I figure that throughout the video, we'll kind of unbox it a little bit and see what we get inside. So, um, so yeah, for those of you who don't know what Manscaped is, it is the only brand dedicated to uh, below-the-waist men's grooming. Uh, but they also have more than other stuff, uh, or more stuff than just that. So, um, But, yeah, I I'm pretty sure you can use the razors like on your face, too. I thought I was not in the best position there. Is my helmet Vegas? Yeah, it is. Never mind. For some reason, it looked different. I guess I never really took a good look at my mask. But anyway, let's take a look and see what we have in here. Uh, because I have not opened this. Uh, I want to do it on camera. Oh, my gosh. Aw, oh, damn it. I thought it was... Unless it is, and I just don't see the other part to it. This is going to be a very... At least we have something to do when we don't have the puck in our zone. Please tell me, yes, is this a fanny pack? Maybe it's not. No, I don't think it is. Never mind. I was going to say, <laughs> this is a nice bag, though. I'm surprised they gave this to me. That is really nice. I don't know what this is, though. There's like a paper here. Is this a newspaper? They got their own newspaper? That's what it looks like. It legit looks like a newspaper. Damn it. Uh, all right. We save. Look at that, guys. Wow. There it is, guys. That should help my COPPA BS with the for kids crap. <laughs> no. But uh, that's pretty funny, though. I like this. If you guys, I'm sure you guys have seen their YouTube ads, like the tired of nicking your ball sack. Uh, we got a nice t shirt. That's pretty cool. There it is. Your balls will thank you. Right there. All right, so we got a nice t-shirt. Did I get the... Oh my gosh, I did. They got cologne. Hair and body wash. What is this? I don't know what this is. Boxer briefs. There we go. I got my own boxer briefs. Maybe this wasn't the best video for this, to be honest. I got my own boxer briefs. That's pretty cool right there. All right. There it is. I'm just piling all of this stuff probably in the worst spot. Um, some, okay, some ball deodorant. Okay, um, we also got cologne. It's a nice looking bottle. I'll probably drop it and then it'll go all over the floor. Hair and body wash. Okay, nice right there, your hair and body wash. Uh, and then we got a crop reviver. Ball to toner. I have no idea what that does, but that's that right there. Uh, and last but not least, we have the lawnmower 2.0 right here. So there it is. That's the actual razor itself. So some pretty cool pl things about it. It's waterproof, so you can use it in the shower. 60-minute uh, usage on each full charge. So it's got quite the 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 lifespan um, for me for each charge uh, rechargeable USB so that's pretty cool hyper hygienic so that's very obviously uh, very useful so I kind of wanted to know I assume you can use it on your face um, that would be nice to know because 
I do need a new face razor uh, because I want one that I can actually put the things on. I don't know if you can put like adjustable guard for custom hair length. Sorry, I'm just thinking about what it's used for and that you can... <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. I just think it's pretty cool that you can... <laughs> are pretty funny that what it's meant for, you know, down south, and that you can adjust it for the preference of your choice. I just... I, I, I don't know what other people prefer, but... Anyway, yeah, uh, without going into too much detail, it's a, it's a, you know, a mower for down south. Everything is pretty much for down south, except for the shirt, unless you can find a way to inc incorporate it with that, then be my guest. But, uh, but yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool thing to unbox. I think we made that pretty entertaining. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to get your own, uh, you know, if, if you guys want to get anything from the site, uh, I included my code down in the description. You can just use fin 20 to get uh 20 percent off and free shipping so go ahead and use that uh if you guys you know see anything on the site that you guys like but um i'm glad i got another shirt too because i have way too many even though you guys probably have seen me wear the same shirts like in every video uh that's only because half of the shirts i don't wear <laughs> so but yeah i got a lot more than i thought i was going to get from them but that's pretty cool um so yeah a pretty nice uh swag order they call it i'm very happy with that uh, i just realized how far away my mic is too so uh hopefully you guys have been able to hear me i love this bag though i'm going to definitely use this for like my toiletries and stuff like for my uh for well probably the razor and all this stuff uh also like if I go traveling, that'll be very useful. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to move all this, and then I will get it all organized later. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm very uh, excited with that. That was pretty pretty neat. Alrighty. So, uh, so yeah, good stuff. I like it. And definitely recommend it. I have not used it yet, but it, it's honestly something I've thought about uh, buying because I wanted to, you know, I'm assuming you can use it for your face. I mean, it's a razor. I think it's just specifically designed for you know you know um where the sun don't shine but uh <laughs> but anyway um but yeah I've, especially when it has the adjustable thing because i've been wanting to shave this uh but i still want to keep it oh snoop dogs here but yeah i've been wanting to keep it i just want to trim it really bad because it's just getting a little too like patchy like if you guys can see how like dark it is here but not a whole lot going on on the sides so yeah but i definitely recommend it i really like the features it has and i'm not still talking just to advertise it more and more like i'm just i'm, I'm just i'm just saying but um but yeah pretty pretty cool stuff um but yeah anyway back to uh back to the world of finn and hockey enough talking about uh uh, uh, hygiene, uh, personal hygiene. To Verona. All right. Uh, wait. Does does their mascot have a tail? What happened? I guess it went out. I didn't even see where it went. How many shots do we have? Like two? I don't know how many we have. To be quite honest. All right. What's her mascot name? It's, it's Chance. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Not a whole lot of action this game for us. I think we've only had. I just want to double check and see. Uh, yeah, two. Our team's had eight. Oh, there's a trip. Now we might get some more. What camera angle do I use? I use uh fix. Can I make a dorsal fin merch for uh for Nexus gifts? I actually do have um. I already have a uh, dorsal fin t-shirt on my site. I can't make jerseys on there, unfortunately. Although that would be very neat to do. Um, but yes, I do at the moment have uh, a uh, t-shirt with my uh, my goalie on it that my uh, that my boy Kiwi drew. He drew my profile picture, and I have just my profile picture as well as a t-shirt. So that I've worn in many videos. It's a little worn out now, just because of uh, how long I've had it and how much how often I've washed it. 
Oh, oh my gosh, these guys cannot hit the net. It's sad I even gave up a goal against these guys. Jeez. Did I say fixed? Yes, I said fixed. That is the camera angle I use. That is the name of it. Sveknikov. Uh oh, oh nice. Oh, you should have kept going, Krug. Or Krug. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna trigger anyone by saying that because a lot of people, still people get mad. I still get comments on that video back in 2018 of people correcting me to say Krug or pronounce it like Krug. Nice save. Pass that out. We don't want it. Power play's ended. That felt like a pretty short power play. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Oh, nice save. I think we made two there. I'm hoping we did, because I could definitely use the credit for it. He's still talking. Snoop Dogg's still, still here. All right. So we got Snoop helping us out. We've been doing a lot better since he, uh, since he came into the booth. I don't know what that shot was, but that was horrendous. It wasn't close. I'm glad this team's doing well, though. I mean, it definitely looks like we can make the playoffs. I feel like no matter if I'm starting or not, I always end up starting in the playoffs. Oh, my gosh. Hit the net. Jeez. Does our, does our team have this hard of a time hitting the net? Because I don't think they do, but I don't know. Grubauer, where's he? Is he still with Colorado? I think that's where he is. I remember he was with Washington. Now they have, uh, oh, who's their other goalie? Is that like Copley or something like that? Or do they have someone else? I can't remember who their other goalie is. I know it's Holpe is their main guy. He's not a guy I really hear about anymore. Honestly, I never really, I feel like he was never really a hyped goalie. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like he's just a name I'd never really hear about. Even though Washington's a great team, I just never hear his name, really. Even when they won the Cup, like, I feel like he got, like, no praise. I, actually, he might not have done that good in the in the playoffs. I think it was more the offense. But not everyone does good in the playoffs, especially goal. Like, I feel like when I would watch the playoffs, like, back when the Flyers were good, um, the games were, like, just seemed more high scoring you know what I mean like it was pretty much bad goaltending but I could be wrong I don't know I really want to go for a fight though oh I thought I was going to get a penalty there oh that's a good hit I don't know if I've heard him say that Lindgren I wonder if he's related to the Canadians goalie if he's still there I thought that he was going to be really good, Lindgren, because he, when he first got called up, he had really good stats, and then I think he started to... I thought we were going to score there. Oh, he's still, he's still here. Maybe it's like a whole period he, he announces for. Nice. All right. So we're getting shots, we're just not getting them uh, past the goalie, which is obviously uh, a big, you know, definitely something you want to do for sure. But uh, hopefully that will continue, definitely. So I don't know if you guys know who S7 is, but he makes like, I just thought of this. He makes like, uh, definitely check him out on Twitter. It's uh, just type in S7. I think it's like S7 DSN is like his handle or something like that. But if you type in S7, I would assume he would come up. But he makes like a lot of my thumbnails uh, for uh, only for training for McDavid and training for Trout. He's made thumbnails for me. I believe those are the only things he's made them for. Um, but anyway, he did this whole thing where like, oh, oh, I thought that was going in. Let's fight him. Damn it, I'm not going to make it. I like that save animation though. But anyway, he made, he did like this concept if there were like color rush jerseys brought in and he did a Vegas one and it was gold. And I was like, they need to do this. They definitely need to do this. They need gold jerseys. Like, I cannot believe they still have yet to do that. And they looked so sick. They looked real, first of all, when I saw them. I was like, oh my gosh, you would have thought this was a real picture. Definitely check it out. He also did, like, throwback ones. But I remember for the Flyers, like, some of them I liked, some of them I didn't. Uh, but they were all cool concepts, don't get me wrong. But the Vegas one was definitely my favorite because it was... 
it was basically the the gold you know like the gold that you see on the sleeves that's what the whole jersey was well not the whole jersey i think it was like you know i think it still had like the red in there but yeah i really like their uh their uniforms vegas they're probably one of my favorite jerseys in the league i remember when they first got introduced like i was like this theme doesn't really make too much sense because i definitely thought it was going to be something like casino related but i don't know what they would have done that wouldn't have sounded cringy like when i think of it i'd be like i don't know the high rollers the gamblers like i have no idea but um but i do like i do like the name and the logo and you know and all that I loved what they were doing in the Stanley Cup. That was awesome. Like, with the... They basically had, like, a little show. Like, a little 5-10 minute show. However long it was. I thought that was so cool. And it was like... I guess some people didn't like it. But it's like, well, it's Vegas, you know? Everything's bigger in Vegas. Right? Isn't that the saying? Ooh. He was not going to let him do anything. Nice. That was a three-on-one? I thought it was a two-on-one. But okay. Come on, guys. Can we please get a point on the board? Ball toner. I still want to know what this does. I have no idea. <laughs> but I'm like... I, I just... I don't know what... I, I don't know. I really... That's all I can say. For any time, pick me up, spritz your goods once or twice. That's what it says. I'm not kidding. And then let air dry. Oh, I didn't mean to change the camera there. See, look. Oh, it probably won't focus, though. Anyway, it says it on the bottle. <laughs> but uh, I could see if my bro wants to do... Oh, he scored! Wants to do another expansion team. I would definitely be okay with that. We're still in the second period, right? Oh, no, we are in the third. I don't remember getting done the second. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I saw there were four minutes left, and I was like, oh, I guess we're finally almost done the second. All right. Well, we know we're going to blow this lead just like we did in the last episode, I'm sure. Oh, almost did right there. Oh, I went to pass it out. Oh, well. That's what it is. I wonder if they'll ever put real coaches in this game. I mean, they have in Madden. I'm pretty sure FIFA has real coaches. MLB, I know that's not EA, but they have real coaches. I think NBA does. But again, that's 2K. And I'll tell you what, though. I don't know if I told you guys, but I went to my first basketball game uh, with my brother. Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you. I've been to hockey. I've been to football. And I've been to baseball. This basketball game might have been one of the most electric, if not the most electric atmospheres I've ever been a part of. And I'm not a big basketball fan. I mean, I appreciate the sport, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. But after that game, I was like, I might be a little bit more into basketball now. And they're very entertaining games, especially towards the end. Like, when I first, I first thought they were going to be like, you know, maybe they only get loud towards the end. But the whole game was, you know like pretty loud and there was a lot of like the officiating wasn't i wasn't a big fan of it i thought the officials were a little soft like i remember ben simmons i think cursed at himself he got mad at himself and the ref gave him like a uh whatever it's called a technical i think that's what it is when it's like not really play related but um but anyway and then our coach got one too but it's like the place erupts when they make a bad call so that makes it even more fun and intense. But uh but they didn't they're not like Flyers fans. You know, I think actually and it's funny cuz it's all Philly. I think Sixer fans are actually not that bad. Um but apparently like like they don't say anything like uh like you won't hear anything messed up like profanity. Sometimes you do, but like it's mainly like them getting frustrated with their own team. Like but you get the ref, you suck. But I'm pretty sure all teams do that. All sports fans. I love that. That's one of my favorite chants is ref, you suck. Oh, made that look a little harder than it probably was. But I'll still take it. It looked nice. All right. 
Do I play the games with the all the games with the seals? Uh, no. I really only play the ones that I record. Sometimes I'll like I was playing a few like in the third period when I was trying to make the playoffs uh, towards the end of the season, but that was it. Um, oh my gosh, that was the game. If we go to a shoot, I don't know if I've been to a shootout yet this year with dorsal fin. That could have been bad. I was not quite prepared for that. I might try and get in a fight to bump up my team play too. <coughs> Here we go. Might as well. We got to get it up. Got to try and get more starts, you know? I don't even know what my stats are, to be honest. I don't know if they even warrant more starts. But it's like, if this grading system's in the game, then they should just make it so stats don't even matter. As long as I'm somehow all in the green, even if my save percentage is like an 85. Oh, man, I lost. Well, I'm sure the lines aren't that tired anyway, so hopefully it's not going to affect us. Yeah, they're not. They've only had one line out here for both teams anyway, and they're probably going to switch it up, I think, now. So I'm sure it won't matter. Obviously, it still would have been nice to win. Is Glass on our first line? No, I don't think that he's our first line center. I don't know, though. I might be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're good. Mm, oh, no! I It's funny. I literally, I wasn't going to do it, and my finger slipped. Oh, my gosh. I thought we were going to lose it that way. My bad. Oh, so was that. I hate overtime. Get on the post. Get off the post. That had to be the scariest, like, <laughs> minute. Oh, my gosh. I am so sorry, guys. That was brutal. We should have lost it. There it is. Oh, my gosh. Wow. We should have lost that game when I passed that out. But I'm so glad it didn't count because it was a complete accident. Oh, that could have been so incredibly bad. But it wasn't. And that's what matters. Got to be thankful for the outcome. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Very good game. Great ending. A little scary. A little stupidity on my part. But, uh, but yeah, that's going to do it. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.